okay so this is listening so listening should be the way of learning about listening okay so we are talking about listening so please listen don't worry about words okay so uh, you listen this now you focus on one voice one instrument there are so many things being played you can focus only on one voice of the singer or an instrument if you want you can close your eyes or keep the eyes open whatever okay you listen this on two occasions first general listening and second when i requested you to listen and focus on one instrument what's the any difference sir actually when we listen generally we listen it for the sake of entertainment means we don't want to sir, respond please remain anchored in the experience don't get into the conceptual and theoretical part and so okay fine sir so what was the difference in the experience you were more attentive, you were more attentive. <coughs> finer aspect specific aspect okay we are thinking what song it is and uh, what's that which language it is uh -huh. and later on we are concentrating on uh, the Whatever different instrument yeah. yeah so there was a purpose there's a choice earlier it is more like okay whatever is going on let's and then we are more focused and not necessarily we can focus on one instrument and then we can focus on another instrument but at a time we were focusing only on one instrument and suddenly when i become conscious of one instrument i become aware of what all other instruments are being played out that's an interesting thing when we are focusing on the violin we suddenly realize no there is a mridangam also there is a ghatam also there is a when we are listening we are thinking about yes so the first distinction about hearing and listening and when i conduct in the class actually i conduct in a in slightly different way the one class is totally dedicated to the listening and hearing listening and notes taking so when students are generally I, not generally always i reach to the class before the class the starting uh, starting time and i play this students keep coming and then they find out they, they search and find out a place sitting and going on what's happening etc and then i ask them okay what is the topic for today's 
most of the time they don't know what is the topic of the class. So then, but some of them uh, in, in most of the classes come up, oh, this is the class on listening. So then I said, okay, if it's a class of listening, please listen. And then they listen. And then third, so that is the time when the, the, uh, the, the sound level, there is a sound in the class. And third time, ask them, okay, now you focus on one instrument and then they become more focused and there is a much more silence, a deeper silence in the class. So then I asked, okay, what, is the, what was the difference? So first they say, okay, when we were entering, we were wondering and we said, okay, this is a nuisance, something is going on. We become little more attentive and at, in the third stage, we become even most attentive. So that is the first distinction I, I bring in the class. They said, this is the difference in listening and hearing. Hearing we all, we are simply, it's an act of perceiving sound, electromagnetic waves, we are receiving, that's all. But what distinguishes hearing from listening is the choice. When I choose to listen, when I choose to hear, it, is, it qualifies as listening. So that's the first distinction. I can keep hearing, sitting in the class and keep hearing whatever is happening in the class. Or I can choose to pay attention, if that choice the choice when connected to the act of hearing makes process called listening. So that is the first thing. But there are different ways, different reasons why we suffer from suboptimal listening. This happens. So then I explain what are the suboptimal ways of listening, why we suffer from suboptimal listening. For example, pseudo listening. The, the easiest way is to look like I am listening, but I am not. You have seen in some of the classes, you enter in some and some and students are like master, they start noting like and you ask one question and they are blank. So this is pseudo listening, self-centered. We are listening, but we actually manage, this, this is more common in the conversations. Though I am listening, but actually I am framing my response. So one of my friends says, this is listening while loading your guns. I am listening and actually I am, psychologically I am loading my guns. Thak. Bowl, beta, bowl, tack. And the person stops for a second and I get the margin of the second, some space and I do like and I just do not stop. So this is the listening for loading your guns. Selective listening, I only listen what I get to. Ye placement Many students have this. Ye exam mein hoga kya? Very clear. Exam mein aayega to bolo suno. Knowledge to bohat hai na. Google is full of we, we suffer from the selective listening and then comes fill in. We, when we don't understand the subject, we fill in with our own story. You teach and many of you are teaching for so many years. After the exam, new subject is born. <laughs> new mechanical engineering. Because students, they, I mean, and I am also a student, we all are students. We fill in with our own stuff in the skeleton to have a sense of completion in our mind. Sometimes we are very sensitive and particular about some of these things. Sometimes we are very particular about our identity, gender, nationality, clothing. The moment I hear a word in the whole conversation, attention and energy, that particular word, tu ne aisa bola kese? So that is a, we are too sensitive about some of the ideas and when they are being touched upon, we become sensitive, we become like furious or become very, very sort of reactive and last but not the least and this is the disease which we catch as we grow old, insulation, bolo, we can do some exercise in the class, when do you, uh, have you in some, someone for the insulation, I asked student, in someone, in spite of great things, this person doesn't move. And what is the difference between this person and the vegetable? Vegetable move only when on the frail pain. We also become like this at some point of time. It, it shakes up the student. It, it, it brings a questioning. Uh, it, it brings out a lot of questioning among the students. Yaar, yaar, hum to vegetable ho ja rahe. Then there is some conversation about the dialogue. Listening, we don't listen. Why it is important? Because that is the bedrock of 
dialogue. Means the dialogue won't happen without listening. And dialogue is not only about exchange of information. Dialogue is about exchange of worldviews, and that's what makes the whole process very risky. Because when I share my worldview and you share your worldview, and both of us are willing to share, actually both of our worldviews get transformed. And the risk, great risk. I may change after listening to you, so better I don't listen. So we talk about it, and uh, that is that is about listening. You can make some exercise another a good exercise on this is podcast how many of you are aware of the podcast many of you are must be aware of you must have uh, uh, looking at these nature and science as a great journals they are one of the journals articles, uh, articles there are some podcast so which convey the dealt in that journal in 5 minutes time we can uh, use these podcast in our classroom run those podcast one benefit of running that podcast is that students get interested in some of these ideas. They get, they develop a taste of listening. See, the, the present, our, uh, our new generation, they are anyway very sort of open for audio visual medium. So, better we give them that audio, that part of audio visual which will help them to become a better professional and better student and better scholar. So, you can run those podcasts, you can run those TED talk in the listening skill class. For example, in, in one listening skill class, I run a 5 minute video uh, TED, TED of, of, of one TED talk, very brief TED talk and have prepared a one, uh, one test based on that TED talk. 6 questions, ask them how many of you have answered 5 or more, or 4, 4 or 3 and then I ask one question. Uh, how many of you think that had I announced that there is good to be a test followed by this test talk, you would have performed better. And almost 100 percent raise their hand, yeah, agar hota na to I would have done better. So, that is the next distinction I bring about in the class, that objective attached to that listening decides the quality of listening. It is not only about listening, but we need to know what is the objective. If objective is to survive for next one hour, I can keep my eyes open and survive and listen, whatever. But if objective is to win a Nobel Prize, or bring about some fundamental change in healthcare industry, just for example, then the quality of my listening and the quality of my engagement with the subject and knowledge will be altogether different. So, we, we need to invite students to settle these questions also. Company skill course is a wonderful opportunity to settle these some of these questions. Why you are doing this course, what you are doing? Is it for a job? It is for bringing about uh, pro positive change in the on the planet it is is it about making yourself uh, authority in the subject what is that which is driving you if that question is settled the quality of listening quality of notes taking quality of learning quality of interaction everything will change so we need to uh, bring not only to the door of the subject but door of life we are actually sending out students to the arena of life. So, these are the opportunities eventually. See, there is no engineering problem or management problem or medical science problem. There are always life problem. For some life problem, we need engineering and we need management or we need medicine or law or whatever. So, if we can open up those possibilities, that will be like a wonderful thing.